we are back with the final stream for Armored Core 2. I'm gonna give a little bit of Arena a shot, but there are three more missions in the game, and only three. I'll look into my general mech output for the Arena, see if I can make this hopefully worth it. Oh cool, I don't have the recommended thing for this. Oh, let's take ourselves a look. Probably something I sold because it was expensive. No, actually. I'll buy a little arms for this. Whatever. I'm gonna grab these two. Not even that expensive. I'll take it. Swap it around. Is there much stack difference? But there really is, actually. At that point, it needs to overweight, but that's okay. Booster, I'm probably good. Hmm. But anyway, I'm going to be changing my other stuff, I think. If I have to switch back to my other arms and legs, I'll do that. That's extension, I don't really care about that. I'll lose a little bit of weight, even though I'm still over. And I'll take that. That ought to about do it. Oh yeah, I have a sniper rifle that I never took off. I put that back on. Hmm. But then I go back to the overweight problem, don't I? Maybe I'll go ahead and put back on the other legs that can better support this. Yeah, that just does it. Moving ability goes down, unfortunately. Actually, that's pretty good. Armor goes down now, but moving ability goes up quite a bit. Try this. And I'll go back to my other back unit. See if that makes a difference. Missiles with multiple warheads. You know, the missile stuff is pretty good. Let's do that. Let's give this a shot. And I'll save before attempting the arena. I just want to take out Samsara. He's been sending me those troll emails, and it's just annoying. What the reward for the arena since a proud accomplishment, yeah. There probably is some part in there. There probably is. But there's also the flavor. So, Samsara. The bully. I'll give him a couple shots. I'm not going to make this all day. I do want to try the, uh, the actual story stuff to finish it off. Unfortunately, though, probably... A bit of what I'm gonna do is just avoid the guy. Cause he comes in swinging. Look at that. Behind me already, and now he's not. I love this reticle though. Yeah, he's got very good shots. This reticle makes a huge difference. Multi missile. He's a close one. This guy does sting. Look at the speed on this guy. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to rely on good old point at him and fire. Fuck the one wants any other thing. Can you believe this? Like, really? 
What a pain in the ass. Oh well. Let's try it again. Oh, and it redoes the dome. Ugh, I should have just died and said retry, but we'll see how the dome goes. And then I'll just go whole hog with my, uh... Oh yeah, I can't do my quick reverse anymore. I'll go whole hog with my, uh... Oh, the game's drowning me out a little bit. How the hell does this happen? Like, I didn't change any setting. Okay, this doing any better? Hopefully that's better. Oh, I want it to swing. Really? Much better? Good to hear, good to hear. That was not quite an equal trade-off, I think. Or don't think. Very nice, very nice. I'll give this one more shot before I abandon ship and go for a, a story mission. Man, do I dislike this guy. <laughs> we just juked by each other, don't worry about it. Let's do middle missile, why not? with my giant reticle. Let's just assume all those hit. I'm not paying attention to health right now. I'm pretty sure some of those are hitting. Get there so fast. Yeah, we are just not connecting with these things, are we? Let's go to my other missile shot. I would like to be able to sword slash the guy too, that'd be just nice. These jukes though are on point. How come I can't juke with that efficacy? I'm not a fan of hitting every single obstacle I find. Ah, nuts. I was going to get ready for my own sword slash. And he's just not having it. See, that was my big move, and it didn't work. Of course he could catch up to me, no problem, right? Ugh. What a pain in the ass.
Oh well, bye. Hey, I know, let's do a story mission. And then I'll come back to the arena and make myself miserable. So, what do we have for story missions? There's really not much left, actually. Raven Test, obviously not. Uh, we can defend the Arden River Lab. Let's see how this works. Hey, everybody. It's Zeo Matrix. Emerald forces have crossed the Arden River and are closing in on our lab. They have been confirmed as mobile units armed with long-range weapons. The lab has no defense system, so it will undoubtedly be destroyed once they are within firing range. We therefore request that you eliminate the assault force. Our real problem is the extreme width of the river. If the enemy units come in force, there's a good chance that they'll be able to break through. That should be uh, two words, I believe. We've set three relay points. <clears throat> You'll be notified when the enemy passes each one. Use this information to prevent them from breaking through our last line of defense. Good luck. Okay. Defend the lab from attack. Let's go. Welcome to... Honeymoon? What? Arrived at the target area, commencing AC drop. Main system, engaging combat mode. Prevent the attackers from breaking our last line of defense. Points A, B, and C are relay points. You'll be notified when they pass each one. There's another one in the same area. Attacking units on all three rounds. Look that. Alright, now where did that helicopter go? There it is. Almost left the arena, that would have been bad. Really? I'm catching the branch or whatever? For him. Oh wow. Helicopter's ran down. Alright, can we stop like just blasting with every missile ever made? System error optimizing? What are we even talking about? I don't know what this mysterious system error is, but that's alright. Very cool when I can't see because I'm getting blasted by every missile. This isn't fortunately like the most dangerous mission I've ever been on, probably because it's an early mission. I'm assuming it's an early mission. It's getting foggier and foggier. Am I even targeting correctly anymore? Like these missiles are clearly coming from somewhere. And I can't tell from where. I guess it's time to get on their level. Alright, enough of this. Whatever point C means, I'm just trying to kill enemies here. So there's where a missile is coming from. And that guy's done. There's a helicopter. God, these things are annoying. Got him. I'm losing more health than I would have thought just because things blasted me. I already. I knew they passed point C though. Ugh, pain in the ass. Alright. 
now. Where are other enemies? Okay, here's something. What else we got? Enemy units have broken the defensive line. The mission has failed. Retreat. Really? Are you kidding me? Mission failed. System okay, very to nice. Wow, very cool. That wasn't even supposed to be a terribly difficult mission, I didn't think. Like, what is point C? I wonder if that stuff shows up on the map. Alright, here we go. We've arrived at the target area, commencing AC drop. Main system is engaging combat mode. Prevent the attackers from breaking our lives. Okay, so there's an enemy right off the bat, right? Points A, B, and C are relay points. You'll be notified when they pass each one. There, I got an enemy. Very nice. Let's find some Stop choppers. The There's a chopper. Good, he's out of here. Alright, we got goons down here, that's fine. We're both using the same weaponry. We got him too. That's fine. Helicopter. Got him. Like, they talk about preventing a breach, but like, there's so much stuff just here. Now it's getting foggy or whatever, or dark, I don't know. Got him. Let's go to a, a breach point? I don't freaking know. Enemy units have passed point B. Right? Did they talk about point B, but like what do you like where? Like I'm still fighting a hundred things over here. Where are these points? There's a helicopter above me. That's that. There's a guy out here. Okay, so where are these points? Can I see these things? I can. So they've gotten past point B. I'm at point C. So does that mean I should stay here and let the enemies come to me? Should I have gone, or should I, yeah, should I have gone to A first? I don't know. Where am I looking? There you are. Like they talk about enemies getting to point A, B, C. They mentioned point B, but I think I'm going to point C. There's just nothing here. Do I have to anticipate their arrival or what? Here's something. Another ship, I guess. Is that it? Mission objective achieved. There it is. There it is. 
Switching to normal mode, everybody. We did it. That works. Hooray, I got a little bit of money, I guess. I think there are only two missions left, which is kind of amusing. No new mail. Oh well. All's well that ends well. I got me a mission. I defended the thing. In victory, I will give Samsara another shot because he's a bully and I don't like him. Unbelievable. I should have chosen a different arena, but it's fine. I actually would like him to get close to me so I can use my Moonlight Blade on him. Because in pure attrition with Moonlight, like, I think I actually could win this. This might actually work as stupid as this is. Well. Yeah, if he wants to come in here, I'm okay with that. Because he just doesn't know what to do. This is very stupid on my part, but it looks like he actually connected. Of course, I'm the one who loses on that trade-off. Oh, that was close. He caught me before I could take a swing. That stupid, stupid strategy might actually work. damage output on capable of. If I could actually connect with the guy. I love how small cars are in comparison. What I'm a little less happy about is how he knows how to hit me every time. Big chance. Oh. Alright, that's two. One more try. I really do dislike this guy. How do you get good at Armored Core arena stuff? Like, how does someone, like, straight up just dominate, like, the computer in Armored Core? Because this AI is a pain in the ass. And even there, like, I'm trying to swing it, it ain't happening. I'm pressing the circle button. All you have to do is press circle. And this guy could swing like three times before I could swing because he keeps like interrupting me. You see this? Very nice, very nice. Ugh. You know what, one more because that one was quick. This guy sucks. Maybe I should just have the machine gun out the whole time just so I can keep pouring on damage. I'll slide by him. Let him come back. Aha! Not sure if connected. There we go, there's a connection. See, how come he interrupts me when I swing, but I don't interrupt him? You know what I mean?
There's some real potential there. Just gonna hold the button down. Oh. That actually surprisingly wasn't too bad. <clears throat> Oh, how people beat Souls games with patience and cursing? I mean, yes, but like, it doesn't feel like you're not on an equal playing field in Souls games. Like here, like his Moonlight Swings, or his, excuse me, his Laser Blade Swings just seem to override mine for reasons I can't explain. Wait, look, we're right there. He just straight up interrupted my swing, even though I clearly swung first. Do you think I had a chance? And I totally lost him. There he is. I'm gonna run out of bullets soon. Ish. Oh, I overheated him. Hey, I actually beat him. I beat Sam Star, everybody. I did it. Huh, first try every time. What an easy thing. But yeah, that the machine gun really does pour on the heat, so the, the poison effect, the overheat, helped quite a bit. Feels good, man. And yeah, I went to run if you tried leveling poise. I freaking wish. I don't know what like I don't know if that's a thing in this game. Like the heavier legs, eh? I, I don't know if poise is a thing, but if it were, then I clearly don't have enough. All right, so 2100 or 21,000 credits. I'm sure I have a new mail for this. No. No new mail now that I beat your ass. Not not playing that game. Okay. Well, I finally shut Samsara up. Got to give props for that. I'll experiment with the next fighter, but then win or lose, I'll go into a story mission. Oops, I went the wrong way around. Uh, Helzehen? Or, or, Helzehen? Scholar. Oh, that's a cool emblem. An educated raven who researches tactics based on calculations. It produces results, but isn't always reliable. He enjoys collecting ancient war manuscripts. <laughs> Alright. Can I do the same trick that I did with Samsara? Looking like no, he just goes off somewhere. I mean, I guess I could always just pour on the bullets, right? This guy's got the jukes. And enough missiles to slow down the game. Okay, calm down. I forgot I have missiles appear on the radar, so all of a sudden I saw three triangles. I'm like, what is happening? This guy's some uh, some uh, mirror technique, mirror image technique. This is this is going all right though. If I can if I can overheat the guy, I think I did actually. I think I overheated him. So weird that armor core has poison. Just keep firing and hopefully whittle this guy down, because he's actually catching up to me. <laughs> Stuck in the corner sucks. 
Anyway. This guy doesn't appear to juke quite as much as the other guy. Like, he certainly flies around, but he's not full-on juking. Oh, that would have been nice. Hopefully I have this. This is a, a, a decently close match. Alright, first try. I beat the Scholar, everybody. Feels good, man. Maybe I have what it takes to be Master of Arena, after all. Anyway, let's uh, go through that. Let me collect my reward. That was very satisfying. And meanwhile, that poise discussion seems to have led to a, an Elden Ring conversation in the chat. I'm working on Elden Ring at the time of this recording. I'm playing offline, so no summons for me. Although I will say I beat the first mandatory boss on my first try with NPC summon help. Um, what did I... Oh, I got new mail. Warning. Oh no, are we doing Master of Arena again? Where it's like, ah, oh, careful in the arena. Hell's a hen. Oh, the guy I just beat. Your skills are truly amazing. You have the ability to go up against the very best. I'm sure of it. But in some ways, it's better not to advance too far. You'll be happier that way. If you go any higher, he'll take notice of you. Ninebreaker. He's the most powerful raven in the arena, and it's all over once he sets his sights on you. Oof. Yeah, Ninebreaker. It's like Hustler 1, but I guess in the PS2 era, it's Ninebreaker. And yeah, Anthesius, there's no problem playing online these days. You can only get in, uh, invaded if you summon. Yes, but I'm playing on console. And to play online, I need to pay for PS Plus, which I never make use of, and I don't care about multiplayer in almost any game ever. So I'm not paying for literally nothing. So offline it is. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at another mission. I only have two left. Ugh, sorry I can't scroll any faster. Guard HQ Rooftop, ladies and gentlemen. I'll try this. This might be obnoxious, but I'll try this. See Matrix again, jeez. Keep whining, why don't you? Emergency situation. We have verified that an LCC attack team is invading Zeo, our corporation's central city. Their aim may be to subdue our headquarters on Mars. We've lined up defenses to thwart any ground or sea-based forces, but we require the services of a raven to ward off aerial attacks. Can I just say I like that word, thwart? Stand by on the roof of the building and attack enemy forces as you encounter them. We've readied a resupply helicopter, so use it to your advantage. Now that is useful. The LCC must be stopped at all costs. Yeah, the LCC was the most, like, I mean, Emerald ended up making a, a move first, but LCC was the most overtly evil of these companies. Mars HQ. Kill everybody. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, here we go. Grilled chicken. Who names these things? System engaging combat mode. Am I allowed to fall? Aerial squadron approaching. They're here as expected. I guess I'll go up top if I'm capable of it. Oh no, I totally am. All right. That's a lot of enemies. Oh, yellow means lower down. Was above me? Get the hell out of here. There, dodge this. 
Oh, those missiles probably didn't even reach. Okay, this is making me mad very quickly. There we go, you're out of here. I really don't like standing here and just getting pelted. Whoops, they're coming in from this direction. Yeah, that feels better. As long as I take somebody out. Uh, okay, I actually got him. I actually got him. This is very annoying, can I just say? Can I just wait for him to turn around? He's not going to disappear off the map, is he? He probably is. Damn. Oh, here we go. Got you that time. Anyone else want to show up? Ruin my day? That's a yes. That's a yes. Is this for real? There we go. Get the hell out of here. These guys are very annoying, but their numbers are dwindling. I like that word too, dwindling. Oh, what? Whoa, what the hell? Like a hundred planes now? There, dodge this. Again, I'll say I don't like being slowly whittled away. But, knocking out these dastardly opponents. I think I hit that other guy. I don't think that's gonna hit, but I'm trying it anyway. That's insane. Model and signature ID unknown. That's an unidentified AC. So you're the Raven Ramil was talking about. Attention all units. Do not let the AC escape. Is that my... Are they coming out of the supply ship or... That might be my, yeah, that might be my supply ship. Alright, so it's a proper AC fight now, and somebody just slashed at me. I don't like that very much. Enough with the missiles, only I can shoot those. Right? Can you believe this? Can't dodge this. He's quite a pilot. Looks like I'll have to take care of this one myself. What now? Mission objective achieved. No, we're good. Take that, Boyle. Oof, boy. Mediocre money. Very mediocre. Oh well. I did it. Only one story mission left, although I do have new mail. Balena and Special Forces. It has been confirmed that Balena Corporation has modified the Frighteners' ACs. This indicates that they are working closely with LCC. It's also rumored that Balena is developing new weapons based on disorder technologies. If these weapons become available to the Special Forces, the outcome will be easy to predict. The Special Forces pose a formidable threat. Be careful. I mean, whatever, I already beat the game. Spoilers. Phobos is a weapon, which is... utterly insane. Like I said, where do you go from there? Like, what is Armored Core 2's sequel? What is it? In any case, 
let's take a look at the arena. Uh, higher Force. Bipolar. Equips caterpillar leg parts that are well suited for a variety of conditions. A balanced arsenal and powerful shield round out the AC and provide endurance. That's annoying. Let's go. And then I believe it's only one story mission left. Anyway, whoops, let's back off. Oh, you also have a crazy machine gun? But do you have a defense against a moonlight? Sword, yeah. I don't like the danger of heat, but what I do like... You and your boost. Yeah, I'm gonna win this at this rate. I'm overheating, which is bad, but my sword is just overpowered if I can connect with it. Because they got a good juke thing going on. See, look at how quickly I brought not even a score, but like... I, I got closer in a, in a major way. And I think they might have actually run out of ammo, so if I just keep circling and dodging this stuff, I might turn the overheat tables on this one, which is kind of funny. This is watch out for the little pulse cannon. Yeah, I actually did turn the tables. I just have to not die before they die. That was actually very close, but I pulled through. Look at that. Legitimate first try. How do you like that action? Get wrecked. That was very satisfying. See ya. Twenty-five thousand credits. There are only so many enemies left, right? No mail? Okay. Who's next? Suave. With Pussycat. Whoa, 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 whoa. The pilot is the son of a wealthy industrialist. His AC, though decked out with expensive parts, isn't just for looks. And is quite deadly in his capable hands. Damn, I was really afraid they were going to turn that around and be like, well... He's got all sorts of cool swag, but he doesn't know how to use it, but uh, apparently he does. Wow. Just got right on top of that. Whoops, and he's got a powerful weapon that I need to already for he? That is ridiculous damage. What the hell? That, that really hurts. I'm just gonna take the hit for this one. Hey, he's not even coming in. He knows how to use his moves. That's insane. I'm gonna have to respect for this guy, I'm sure. That's freaking ridiculous. There. Just keep pouring on the moonlight. I hope he doesn't shoot me. That that was actually very close. I might have a chance if I put on insane pressure. I'm pressing X. Jeez. All right, there we go. Let's give another shot. I'll break out my multi-missiles again, but if I can sword slash the guy, I'm gonna be in some good shape. Can we give that cheating shot a freaking rest? Good lord. I actually got him first. That's freaking ridiculous. That's insane. All of a sudden, that damage just came back in a big way. That- wow. 
Maybe I shouldn't push the the wave blade version. If I'm right up against him, I could just mash circle and just slash slash slash. That might be what did it. That just cut him through. Freaking insane. But be careful, everybody. I might be getting nine breakers attention. Twenty-seven thou. Let's take a look at Ken Hayabusa. What? Model D. Known for being frugal, this pilot equips cheap AC parts. His skills make up for the poor equipment, but he'd undoubtedly rank better if higher equipped, or rank higher if better equipped. That's really weird that they're saying that for, like, rank 12 out of 50 or something. Dragon Ace, we killed Ninebreaker. Well, well, it might be like, um... Uh, it's probably gonna be something like when I finally get to the Nine Breaker fight. It's like, oh, it wasn't the real Nine Breaker. Like, like in Master of Arena, like Hustler One, they just like you never get the chance to fight Hustler One because he's a plot guy. We'll find out, I suppose. Yeah, this when I when I just mash circle, this does stupid damage. I guess I'll just finish him off with my machine gun. If we're both gonna machine gun, then. This is gonna be over real quick. I'm in danger of heat, but guess what? Fight's over. Oh, and by the way, uh, Dragon Ace, speaking of Ninebreaker, I mean, spoilers, even though it's been 20 years, but there is a future PlayStation 2 game that is simply called uh, Armored Core Ninebreaker, so whatever is going on with this, I suspect we have not seen the end of it. Also, if anybody wants to, uh, to Google the covers for these games, like, of all the Armored Core games, there's like 15 of them, Ninebreaker, I think, is... One of the coolest covers. Uh, stoic. Anesthetic. How appropriate. As a youth, he was involved in a spaceship crash that killed many people. Since then, he has blocked out the memories of the event and become an emotionless warrior. Wow, that's... That's an actual real story there. <laughs> he doesn't have that much health compared to me. Is there a reason you're just sitting there, buddy? What are you doing? He's above me. Oh, good thing I moved, because he just launched a giant explosion. You know what, I'm just gonna... Oh, that's the gimmick. He has slow-moving, powerful rocket, or missile, or whatever it is. I don't like that he's floating in the air, though. It makes it harder for me to moonlight laser blade him. Yeah, that's the gimmick. Very slow-moving missile that does comically overpowered damage. I'm just gonna keep running, or, okay, or I can hit a building. That's cool, too. Anyway, I'm just gonna shoot this guy for a while, and hopefully the overheat will... There? Oh, there's no way. There it is. Get wrecked. All of a sudden, the arena stuff is going really well. Now that I've jinxed it, we'll see what happens. And there's only one more story mission, I think. So we're, we're getting close, actually. Anything to get Samsara to shut up, right? And now I'm gonna roll after him. One more and then I'll take a look at the story mission. I mean, either way, I'm gonna be doing arena or story for the remainder of the stream. Number 1111. Count one. He's obsessed with the number one, and has put a great deal of effort into his current position. He'd rather be ranked 11th than first, as it has twice as many ones. <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, what a hero. It's too bad he's ranked 10. Who wants twice as many ones, though, when you could have one time as many ones? Ah, uh, whoa, whoa. That's some real sci-fi damage there. Can I, can I catch up to this gentleman? With insane sword strikes. If he's gonna be stupid, then that's fine with me. Because I actually am catching up now. Now that he, like, forgot how to fight. 
I don't know if he just like doesn't have a laser blade or what. Whoa, some missile. Oh, I was actually very close. this again. Maybe if I just turn around. Uh, I tagged him. This guy definitely has the right idea. I just gotta watch out for all those crazy sci-fi gun blasts. And now he's doing the rocket stuff. I overheated him, just can I stay out of trouble? Probably not, he's gonna finish me. Ah, close again. I wonder how mad he's gonna be- actually, wait a minute, if I beat him, he's gonna be demoted to 11, which will probably greatly please him. Maybe I'm just the hero this guy's been looking for. I never really thought about that. I might be just what the doctor ordered. It'd be nice if he, okay, well, I was gonna say it'd be nice if he showed up, but now that he has, I'm getting blasted, so what do I know? Pounding with these giant missiles. This is so irritating. Wow, goddamn. He just decided to win right there. One more shot, then I'll do the story mission. Oh no, Winterburn. By beating him, I'm not falling for his trap. I am... I am the savior he's been waiting for. It's like one of those um, old-timey anime villains, like, I've been waiting for just the right person to give me the fight I desire, like, I'm the guy. So is there a reason I'm just not hitting him? Someone will explain that, why just nothing hit him? And he's got his crazy sci-fi lasers again. This guy specifically waits until I'm done overheating to break out the sci-fi lasers to overheat me again. It's quite clever. Ugh. Pain in the ass. Alright, last story mission. Why not? Let's back up, and then I'll save. Don't forget to save. Whoops. There we go. Alright. Look at me. I actually have cash. And now, mission. Uh, what was the thing I'm looking for? Recover stolen files. Zeo Matrix again, jeez, it just never ends. The files stolen by the special forces have been relocated to Belena Corporation's AC Research Lab. They must be recovered. This mission has two objectives. Recover the files and destroy the research lab. Destroying the lab will greatly hinder Belena's ability to compete with us. Your area of responsibility is the removal of enemy resistance and planting the bomb. While you're doing that, our team will work to recover the files. The bomb is to be placed on the facility's main computer. You must evacuate as soon as the bomb is set. 
You can gain access to the facility from either of two routes. Good luck. Well, two routes. Anyway, I'm gonna change my my output for this a little bit. Let's see if I even have the arm weapon. You never know, because I keep buying and selling stuff. No, I do. Now my arms are overweight, so I'll probably need to swap my arms out, which is a little annoying. There it is. Anything for my back unit? <clears throat> let's see. Um, yeah, let's do that. That'll probably be about as good as I'm going to get. And now let's back off. Let's save again and get ready for the very last story mission that this game has to offer. I'm quite excited. And who knows, maybe when I complete the mission, we'll get some sort of email about how there's a new part in the shop or whatever it is. Be nice if they told me what the hell it was, but oh well. Let's go into the mission. Let's go find it again. Sorry. And let's see what the code name is. This Money, money. Wow, that's actually kind of amazing. We've arrived at the target area, commencing AC drop. Wow, they're really going full cinematic with me coming out of the ship for once. That never happens, but alright. Main system, engaging combat mode. You want to tell me what the hell this, like, alarm is? Oh. Well, it looks like that's an entrance, right? Yeah, look at that. You can gain access here. Avoid any security. Okay. And my arm, I got the freaking grenade rifle, which is pretty ridiculous. Ooh. Huh? You've been detected. They're transmitting ERL signals to the outside. Great. So this is how we're doing things, huh? This is looking kind of complicated already, sort of. Let's do regular rockets. Going there. But now enemies know that I'm here. being shot at, but... I guess just straight ahead. Are you kidding me? That's enough of those guys. Someone wasn't behind me, is it? Or... Okay, it was just through that hallway. We're fine for now. Okay, there's the target. Anything 
working on the scanners. This is God Dog. I'm in position. Preparations complete. Commence the attack. Great. Bomb planted. System activated. You have five minutes. And now I gotta leave. Going the right way? Like, what is this? Am I going the right way? How much you want to bet I'm not? Although, I do see those two vents, so hopefully, I'm doing this right. Where did I come in? And I think I just cut off a message. That's fine. Oh, what a pain. Raven, I look forward to our next meeting. What did he say, buddy? I hope I'm doing this right. Like, did I do it wrong? How much you want to bet I did it wrong? I'll go on the other vent, I guess. Right? If that first thing didn't do it, perhaps the second one will. Yeah, I just looped around. Okay, let's go in... Wait, was that even... Yes, let's go in this. Hopefully this is the better... Yeah! Mission objective achieved. System okay. switched to normal mode. I did it, everybody. I did it. Alright, there's, there's the story missions. I did it. That's just it. I did it. <laughs> of course I have new mail. This has to be the shop. New product. And blank. New AC part that we, Zeo Matrix, have recently developed is in the shop. This part offers a level of quality only available to those selected by our company. You too can become one of the few who will shape the future of Mars by acquiring new technology. Thank you, and blank. Ares. Here, take this. It'll probably prove useful. Make your way up the ranks as quickly as possible so that we may face off in battle. What? Did I just get a new part? That was a little bizarre. But, hooray everybody, that's every single story mission. So, I guess I'll, well, I'll, I'll go back to my regular machine gun, but, oh, what am I doing? I'll, I'll give, I'll, I'll continue to give the arena a little bit of a shot, but if I don't beat it this time, I'm not gonna do another stream next time just for that. Uh, arm unit R, that grenade is freaking great, but I'll, I'll go back off of it. I'll go back to the MGA2, because it's pretty awesome. I wonder what part that was. I'll have to look into that. Like, what does what does Ares give me? Oh, maybe I see something. Let me let me find out here. Let's find out. There's a chance I'm wrong about this, but I'll check my arm weapons. That's it. It's an energy sniper rifle. This is what I got from Ares. Attack power is pretty good. Only has 20 shots, but it's very strong and it's a sniper. So that's actually really cool. I already have a sniper rifle and you've seen how useful that was with bullets. So, an energy one. I like that. Anyway, about quad one. Count one. That's, that's so good. It's just delightful. I 
don't want to overheat, damn it. Oh, whoops, I have rockets on. I don't want that. I should have put the other missiles back on. That's bad. Just the missiles were kind of how I was doing this. Let's see if I could overheat this guy, though. That'd be great. That looks like I did. So now I just have to run. Alright, I barely made it. You're welcome, Count. One, 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 one. Hooray, hooray. Now I'm in the top ten. I'm in the top ten. And I gotta re-equip my other missiles. But man, that stuff really paid off. Do I get crazy rewards? I'll skip that. Stoic and anesthetic, I already beat. That's fine. Thirty-six five hundred. Look at this. We could almost see the number one. Oh, new mail. No kidding. I wasn't expecting that. But anyway, let's let's change my back thing real quick. Yeah, I don't want the small rockets right now. I'll go back to the yeah the missiles with multiple warheads. That was pretty good. Let's take a look at the mail. This is why I play, right? We got the flavor. Arena ranking. Congratulations on your advancement in the arena. Please accept this AC part as a gift. Okay. And again, like, what's the gift? I don't freaking know. Like, it drives me crazy that they don't tell you. What if I had been fastidiously buying every single thing in the shop, and I have a thousand parts? Like, go find it. But hey, I got recognition for making it this far, didn't I? Uh, Merciless with Black Scythe. Ugh, look at those shoulder-mounted... Specializing in assassinations, this pilot will mortally wound his opponent, then finish him off with his blades. He's referred to as the Grim Reaper. Oh, is he? I thought you said he... No, he's not going to the blaze, after all. I thought he was gonna go right for the blade, so I was like, I'm not mortally wounded yet. Where the hell are you? Like, nothing personnel kid? He's just like constantly behind him. Jesus, let's get out of here. Whoa. This guy does not play. You will be the one to overheat, sir. This is not my favorite uh, fight. This guy's just hitting me with everything he's got. It's insane. Jeez, like there's nowhere to go. Maybe I should get a missile for this guy. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need to re-equip for him. That's insane. I'm gonna switch out. Yeah, Winterburn. More like he refers to himself as the Grim Reaper. That reminds me of, um... I, uh, I, I forgot what movie it was. It was one of the old MST3K episodes where one of the guys in the credits had, like, the middle name with the nickname Boomer. Like, I don't remember the real name. It was, like, John Boomer Smith. And the, uh... And the Riffers were like, do you think his friends actually call him Boomer? It's like, no, they don't. Uh, let's do Energy Sniper. They call me the Grim Reaper. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Why do you keep standing on my head like a prick? Like, is he trying to look cool? Is he trying to be all anime? I was right behind you the whole time. Look at this. He's like insisting on staying behind me, but like right next to me. 
if you're gonna keep being all anime with me, then I'll just, like, cut you with my freaking laser blade, if that's what you want. Or I'll back up against the wall where you can't get behind me anymore. This is, this is insufferable. Like, he's just right on top of me. That's a nice shot. That's a, that's a good shot from this thing. That was actually quite impressive. This is a good gun. Thanks, Ares, if that really is your name. Your friends call you Ares. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of, is when he flips out with his swords. Because he's got, like, double sword action? I don't know. But if I can get far away from this guy and get a good snipe going... You know what's cool is being able to aim at all. Stop being so mobile. Prick. Is there a reason I'm just not hitting them at all? Oh, I'm out of ammo already. Whoops. I deserve that. Oh no, I was mortally wounded and then he finished the job, just like he promised. I genuinely don't understand this guy. He's got a good sword game going. Yeah. I love it. Oh no, how did he get me? Alright, I'm gonna do one more attempt and then I'm abandoning ship. But, hey, we beat every story mission. And we got recognition for it. I wonder what the uh, award is for beating the arena completely, though. Because I gotta say, the Moonlight Sword came very quickly. How much of his ammo can I waste? That's the real question. Once again, I catch a wall. Let's go over here. There, hit me now, bro. Could literally one of those shots maybe not hit me when I try actively moving out of the way? This gun actually does do really good damage, but like... 20 shots is not ideal. Okay, anyway, this is where I'm going to wrap up the stream, so thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful night.